Good morning everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm in a good mood today and I'm super excited to be vlogging and taking you guys with me today. We're actually going to an OB appointment. I'm getting tested for gestational diabetes today, which I'm dreading a little bit because you have to drink that really sweet drink that everyone like says it's the worst thing ever. I'm gonna try to take you guys with me and we'll see like what it's like but if i don't get to take you guys to the appointment then i'll just share with you guys the experience once i get back home i have a few more like fun things to share with you guys some things to unbox with you some baby stuff and some fashion stuff and what else oh i need to make omar's iftar for tonight because he works tonight and he needs food to take with him to work to break his fast i just got ready to go on my walk it's like a little bit later in the day i was actually doing some instagram stories for some campaigns that i have coming up this morning so that kind of took up a little bit of my time earlier and now i am ready to get out there i'm glad that it's overcast today because that means it's not like super super sunny because it is what time is it now it is 12 o'clock, so it's definitely not even the morning anymore, but I am just getting later starts than normal. I guess I'm just like really trying to sleep as much as possible right now because I've just been so exhausted, honestly. I just hit my third trimester last week, and they say that you get like more tired in the third trimester, and I'm starting to actually feel that. Like I feel like I'm getting more tired again, kind of like I did in my first trimester. Before I get started on my day, I wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your kind and sweet prayers and messages on my last video about like whenever I talked to you guys about Leo I was dreading opening up to you guys about that because I don't know like I said like I just like to keep my videos really positive but I think being vulnerable with you guys and just sharing like my feelings and how I'm like like what I'm actually going through like I don't know I feel like you guys could relate to that in some way and I'm just so grateful for all of your kind and sweet messages I got so many messages from people saying like that they had cats gone for months that came back and just gave me so much hope and I'm really trying to like keep the hope in my heart that we find him again I will keep you guys posted but thank you guys so so much you guys were seriously so sweet and making me feel like my feelings were valid was just like all I needed to hear and I love you guys so so much so thank you before i go on my walk i wanted to share with you the natural deodorant brand that i'm obsessed with i actually just did an instagram story campaign with them but they don't even know that i'm talking about them on youtube like at all like i just love them so much they're called each and every and i've been using natural deodorants for over five years and this is seriously the best one i love the formula it goes on clear it smells so good my favorite scents are rose and vanilla and the lavender and lemon, both of them are just literally the best smelling deodorants I've ever smelled. They did give me a discount code um, for my Instagram campaign, so I'll leave it in the description box if it's still available. Back from my walk, it felt so good outside. I'm just like loving the weather right now. It's crazy that it's May and it's like, not too hot yet so it's been really good i'm gonna go ahead and make omar's food for tonight now before we go to my appointment my appointment is in two hours so i think i have enough time to make the food and get dressed real quick omar is still asleep because he worked last night and he works tonight so i'm gonna wake him up like maybe 30 minutes before we have to leave so that he can at least like jump out of bed get ready and we'll go so tonight i am making at home chipotle bowls so it's gonna have brown rice black beans and then i'm gonna go ahead and bake some chicken with some like chili powder and like a bunch of different seasonings on it um, and then i'm gonna make my own homemade pico and guac so in the pico i put cilantro cherry tomatoes red onion and jalapeno and then i add lime to that and then for the guac i put all those same ingredients with just the mashed up avocado and i pack this for omar for lunch i always put the hot stuff in one container like the beans the chicken and the rice in one and then all the cold stuff like the pico and guac and like salsa or whatever and another one that way he can just heat up the hot stuff and then put the cold stuff on top and it's really yummy for work I grab my brown rice i feel like i've done a pretty good job at keeping this like somewhat organized but i think it is almost time for me to like kind of go through it and see what i need to get rid of and stuff so maybe i will do that in another vlog soon before i start cooking i'm gonna go ahead and make myself some lime water because i have not been drinking enough water recently and 
I'm actually kind of cramping like a little bit like last night and a little bit today and I'm almost positive it is because I'm dehydrated so I'm gonna try to drink as much as I can today um, I am supposed to be fasting <laughs> It's so funny when they say fasting because it's like two hours and you can drink water and all of that. I was telling my sisters um, that I had to be fasting for my glucose test today. And I was like acting like it was like the end of the world. I was like, oh, I have to fast for two hours. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, poor thing. Obviously they're like fasting for how many hours is it this year? like 14 or 15 hours so oh, it's just so funny i just rinsed my chicken tenders and i'm gonna go ahead and season them and pop them in the oven i'm gonna try a different spice mix today so since this is for a chipotle bowl i'm using chili powder this really gives that like kind of mexican flavor i'm gonna season it with garlic salt because i always use garlic salt on literally everything and then i'm gonna add some spice with crushed red pepper i have been hearing so many people talk about smoked paprika apparently this gives a really nice kind of like smoky flavor and i did smell it and it smells like pretty smoky and i think it will be really good with this kind of chicken so i'm gonna add a little bit of this and just kind of test it out i'll let you guys know how i like it and then i'm gonna add a little bit of ground cumin so that is what i'm gonna season it with i'm gonna toss it with some olive oil in here and then pop it on a pan like to get plain beans without any kind of like spices or anything because a lot of those beans can have added sugars and just all kinds of stuff that you don't really know what's in it so i like to just add my own spices i added all the same spices i put on the chicken to these black beans and i'm just heating them up so the flavors kind of like blend together well and then once this is all mixed together i'm just going to turn the heat off because these are just out of the can they're already cooked guac pico chicken and beans and i have about 30 minutes until i need to leave the house so i'm gonna go wake omar up and get ready okay i'm dressed and ready to go i wanted to share with you guys my look for the day i haven't been getting dressed so this has been very different trying to figure out like what to wear now that my stomach is getting bigger like nothing fits except the maternity jeans that i got from gap at the beginning of my pregnancy which i still really love because i love the modest like straight leg fit i just recently got some t-shirts from target that i am obsessed with they are maternity but they don't have the ruching on the sides so they don't look maternity so i think they'll be great to wear even after during postpartum they're just like longer so they fit the bump really well i'm wearing a trench from aritzia that's old this is kind of like my go-to outfit combo when i have to get dressed like maternity jeans maternity t-shirt and then something over it <laughs> like a blazer or like a cardigan or like a trench or something like that and then i'm wearing these valentino dupe sandals they are so gorgeous they're from steve madden and they're so comfortable i will link them down below and then the blush chiffon by hot hijab so Omar's waiting on me, so let's go. Okay, we just got to the doctor's office, and for now, they are still allowing visitors with me. 
at the OB appointment. So Omar's coming, but we do have to wear our masks. So I was gonna show you guys how I put mine on. Okay, so now it's tied around the back so I don't have to put it over my ears. And then you can take these little flaps on the sides and just tuck them into the bottom of your hijab on the sides or you can pin it or whatever, but. Hijab hacks. That is. Boom, look at that. <laughs> okay, we're kind of late, so let's go. Yeah. We're in the doctor's office. The nurse just had me drink my little glucose drink. It honestly did make me gag a couple times. Um, <laughs> that, the the aftertaste times. is not the greatest. So it's a lemon lime flavored drink and it tastes like a Sprite, but without the fizz. So like a flat Sprite. Um, but the aftertaste kind of like she was burns. Close. No, I, I did gag close. a couple of times, <laughs> but it really wasn't that bad. You had to drink it in like five minutes. So yeah, she was watching me the entire time. We're gonna get my blood work in an hour and we'll see what my blood sugar is at that time. I still need to go um, pee in a cup. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad I can have Omar with me because I know that there's like other clinics that don't allow visitors and it's really sad. Back home from the doctor's office, so I had my glucose test, and I also had to get a Rogam shot today, and then I got my blood work for the glucose and some other things, so I feel very poked and prodded, but we did hear the baby's heartbeat, which we get to hear every time, and it was so sweet. And the doctor like taught me how to like try to figure out what position she's in. I was never really like very good at figuring out which position the baby was in from just outside the tummy. And she gave me some good tips. So I think she's transverse, like most of the time. Around like 36 weeks is when they want them to be head down usually. So I have a little bit of time until then because I'm only 28 weeks still. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I'm just gonna put together a Chipotle bowl for myself. And I'm also gonna pack up Omar's lunch. Here is my little bowl all put together. This would be really good with some sauteed onions and peppers but i just didn't have time to make that today i don't even think i have bell pepper but it's still really good also it just tasted the chicken and i love the smoked paprika flavor on it it just gives like a really nice smoky flavor it's different than regular paprika it's called smoked and it's really really good so i would totally recommend it. i put the same spices on the beans as well and they're really good good morning guys it is the next day i was planning on finishing this vlog last night after omar left for work but i was so exhausted and honestly i don't think i've opened up to you guys about how emotional i have been this pregnancy and last night i was just so tearful i was literally just making things up to be sad about in my head and i don't know i just i know it's because of my hormones and because of the pregnancy that i'm just feeling down a lot but it's just been really hard to just like control my emotions. Anytime I'm in that headspace, I just, there's no way I can pick up the camera. So yeah, I'm feeling much better today. If any of you guys are pregnant and feeling super emotional, just know that I'm right there with you. It is really hard to like just feel good sometimes, but I put on my makeup today. I actually am doing a shoot with Amanda a little later. She's coming over in about an hour so we can get, create some content at home. But I used all of the Armani um, Luminous Silk products on my skin today and it just, I love the way that that made my foundation and concealer and everything look so glowy and natural. It's beautiful. Also, wanted to update y'all on my glucose test results from yesterday. So I just logged in because I saw that my um, results were in and my blood sugar was high it was 173 and it's supposed to be less than or equal to 140 so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to go do the next set of testing which i don't know if it's a two hour or four hour this first one was only like a one hour so you drink the drink wait an hour get your blood drawn i'm probably gonna have to go back and redo it i don't I haven't gotten a call from my doctor yet but i'm almost positive since it was high that i am gonna have to do the next step okay i think that's good i have been meaning to open up this package with you guys for so long i love supporting small modest brands muslim owned brands and these two companies i'm going to share with you are ones that i just think are doing an amazing job they're literally killing it one of them is culture hijab they sent me you guys honestly i'm just overwhelmed because they sent me so many gorgeous things i don't i don't even know where to start they know i love my neutrals so most of these are in gorgeous neutral shades 
So let's go ahead and see what all this is. These are the, ooh, okay, I just saw these on their website. They have some really nice, like, high neck, thin, neutral undershirts. So these are so hard to find. Is this an undershirt? No, this is just a t-shirt, but they have some that are, like, tighter fitting and fit more, like, an undershirt that would go underneath clothes just to, like, have a little modest layer. Let me see. This is a really good one because it's, like, a sleeveless high neck top these are really good to wear underneath things that you just need like coverage up here like if you have a v-neck or something so i love that i hope it comes in like a lighter nude too because that usually matches my clothes better here is oh here is one of their undershirts that's more of like a tighter fitting these are so hard to find so if you guys are looking for good layering t-shirts Definitely check out Culture Hijab. The next modest brand is Veiled Collection. I love their Eid collection. They sent me a few pieces from their new Eid collection and everything is satin and neutral and just so up my alley. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's get this out of the packaging. <laughs> maxi skirt i was like what kind of a shirt is this it was just not tied i'll have to try this on for you guys but just so you guys can get an idea it's a maxi skirt with this gorgeous tie in the front that is so beautiful okay these i think i'm gonna have to try on for you guys which i hope that they even fit me <laughs> with my bump i got two of the like wrap satin maxi dresses in two different colors i got like a silver and a nude in this beautiful satin material so i may have to go ahead and try these on along with the skirt just so you guys can get the full effect but oh, this was the last dress that i asked for it's this gorgeous satin rust colored maxi dress and it is beautiful oh my gosh i'll go ahead and try on a few of these pieces for you guys but oh my gosh I'm literally obsessed. If their Eid collection is still available, jump on it because I'm sure this stuff will sell out. It's so stunning. I am absolutely obsessed with this skirt by Veiled Collection. It is seriously perfect. I just sized up one to fit my bump. And I'm gonna be really sad when this doesn't fit anymore after pregnancy, so I'll probably get it like taken in. The color and the design is just like so me. So I just paired it with this balloon sleeve blouse from ASOS, and this is actually a, a chiffon hijab from Veiled Collection as well. It's a really pretty nude. I will link these pieces. I'm gonna try on one more dress for you guys from Veiled Collection. Here is the second dress. It is a gorgeous rust-colored wrap style balloon sleeve dress i'm obsessed with this it is so stunning i just sized up to a medium in this one as well and then this is a culture hijab hijab i love this raw edge it's just super breezy and just perfect for summer so i love those pieces oh my goodness i will link them down below i just wanted to show you guys these on the hanger because amanda is about to be here but they are these gorgeous satin wrap style dresses that they wrap around the waist and then they have these kind of like bell sleeves that is so so stunning so i got it in this really pretty like kind of grayish color and then in the nude those would be beautiful for eid or for a wedding these are just really nice pieces to just have in your closet when you have a special occasion to just like grab and go i have amanda here with me now She's fasting, so she's very tired. I've had her, I've had her taking pictures of me and working and steaming clothes, and basically, we had to turn in an Ar that Armani Beauty post this morning, which she did a really good job with the pictures. Anyways, you guys will see this on my feed later. But we were on a mad dash to get that done, and now we're just gonna go grab me a green juice <laughs> because I actually haven't eaten since breakfast this morning. Yeah. So. 
we're just grabbing that and then we're gonna try to take some fun pictures with this floral dress because I saw that there was this um, like floral bush kind of next to one of our grocery stores whenever I was driving by the other day. So I wanna try to take a really cute Instagram picture next to that bush. So the only problem is that obviously the grocery stores are super busy right now. So I'm like kind of worried okay. there's gonna be a lot of people in the parking lot and that's gonna be really awkward, but. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Oh my goodness. I also got a little ginger shot too. So, so good. Got my green juice and this one has green apple. I think it's called the greeny or green apple something from Nectar. It has green apple, ginger, lemon, and then fennel, parsley, I don't know, but it's really good. I haven't been juicing at home as much as I would like to. I really need to get back into juicing. I loved doing it. It just takes up so much time and cleanup and everything. We are on our way to go check out this rose bush and see if it's even possible today. If it's so busy, then I just don't even want to do it. We'll just do it a different day. So we're here and there are these gorgeous flowers here, but obviously it's in a parking lot and there's some people parked right there and there's literally someone in that car. This would be perfect, but there's no flowers on this bush right here, so. There's a patch down there that I think would be good. Okay, we're gonna go try it. Is it in the dirt? Um, I guess we can just do a top way, half. But I think a top half is what we have to do. Okay, let's go. Amanda just left. We took the cutest pictures next to the flower wall. So definitely check out my Instagram to see. We have to get creative now, now that we're just like in my small town and just trying to take pictures by ourselves. So anyways, Amanda went back to my mom's house. Me and Omar are actually going over there for iftar tonight. So I have like a little bit of time before we leave. So I wanted to give you guys a little nursery update. I've been giving you guys nursery updates in every single vlog, but I know a lot of you guys are enjoying them. So yeah, let me show you guys what we've done different. Just a few little updates. The first update is that we hung the artwork and I just think it ties this room together so beautifully. We got it from Restoration Hardware Teen. It's my first restoration hardware piece and yes <laughs> it's for my baby but I figured that if she like got older this wouldn't be too babyish she could use it in her room later on or since it matches the rest of my house we can just use it literally anywhere throughout the house because it's gray and just matches everything I just love it I think it looks so so good so I know I'm gonna get messages I've already gotten messages on Instagram everyone's worried that it's gonna fall into the crib don't worry you guys we are taking all precautions we have pulled this crib out from the wall and i think i may pull it out a little bit more so that god forbid if it actually did fall for some reason it would never fall into the crib secondly people are worried that as she gets older she would grab it and things like that but we are going to be bolting it to the wall like so that she literally cannot budge it at all on all four corners we still need to do that but i don't want you guys to be worried that it's gonna fall on her there's literally no way that it would hurt her second update which is literally not even finished but i had to share anyways are these gorgeous bar pull handles that i got from etsy to go on the ikea dresser we hung one already but it took us a little bit of time to figure out how to get it even and stuff so we just stopped at the one but it is so gorgeous and i love the quality and it just makes the dresser look so much more expensive if you have an ikea dresser i totally recommend these specific ones because they are just stunning so i will link them down below they're just so like modern they're so like heavy and sturdy they just feel so nice and expensive i got the 10 inch ones so that means 10 inches across the um the holes so it's a little bit longer than 10 inches but this is the Ikea Malm dresser or something like that, which I know a lot of people have. So if you have this dresser, these are like the perfect handles for it. Okay, I'm gonna sit here because I have been waiting to open up this Zara baby package with you guys. I ordered this after I had posted on my Instagram like what kind of clothing you guys recommend and da 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 I was giving you guys advice and everyone was like Lena you need more onesies you need more practical items so I was like got it getting online looking for onesies and what do I buy some baby Zara clothes 
I did get onesies as well, but this came in the mail and oh my gosh, okay. Oh my goodness. The colors. I got like some little matching sets. Okay, hold on. Thought it would be easier to show you guys just kind of laid out on the floor so you guys get to see the full effect. I'm obsessed with these cute little knitwear sets from Zara Baby. They have the cutest stuff. Oh my gosh. I just cannot help myself whatsoever. So I got three to six months in the gray and the pink. And then I got six to nine months in the white. Okay, how cute would this be with this little bear hat? This is from Petite Maison Kids. My favorite thing is to just come in here and put together outfits for her. It's so much fun. It's like more fun shopping for her than myself. This is not fully organized just yet. I'm planning on doing a full nursery organization with you guys, but right now I just kind of tried to put all of the sizing that goes together in one place. So this is all of her newborn and zero to three month pajamas and then i have just zero i think these are just newborn onesies like zero to one month from h&m and then this is zero to one month cute clothes i wanted to share these because these in particular are the most gorgeous little gowns these are from a brand called lulu and company i found them i think through instagram but their pieces are the most beautiful softest like thin jersey fabrics and they are just so buttery soft they're exactly what you want your baby to sleep in i purchased all of this myself each of these are like newborn bundle sets it comes with the knotted gown it comes with a headpiece you can do either a hat or a bow i think and then it comes with the mittens and i actually really liked how these mittens look like they would not just fall off the baby because <laughs> i know that those just kind of get like thrown everywhere like they come off really easily it also comes with a jersey swaddle blanket the exact same material and color as the rest of the pieces but i purchased all of the sets myself because i was so obsessed then they kindly sent me some pieces um as well and i'm so excited to share those because these are some of their two-piece sets in the newborn gowns it says it fits up to three months and they do feel like really stretchy so i think that it would probably fit a baby up to three months and then these are the two-piece sets that i also got in zero to three months and they are the most beautiful little patterns i love this nude leaf pattern and this like pink ribbed stripe they also sent me the same um, two-piece set in the pink and the peach but those are in three to six months i'm just literally obsessed with this brand you guys i would totally recommend it, it comes in the cutest like golden white packaging so it'd be beautiful for gifts i get a lot of messages from you girls especially those of you who are pregnant and it seems like a lot of you are pregnant at the same time as me with girls so i'm getting a lot of messages saying to like share all the baby clothes and where you're getting them and all that stuff so i hope you guys enjoy the baby clothes content let me know if it gets like too much but i just am obsessed with like little cute little baby girl clothes it's like the sweetest thing ever <laughs> actually speaking of the knotted gowns i thought i would go ahead and mention this here just i don't know it's just been something i have been really thinking about so i posted a little haul of the lulu and company gowns on my stories and i said that i wanted to bring her home in one of the gowns because they were so soft and comfy and i had actually seen someone else talk about using it as a coming home outfit i didn't really think too much about the car seat for some reason <laughs> but i had heard someone else do it so i wasn't i just wasn't thinking i was like yeah that sounds like the perfect coming home outfit so I said it in my story and then I got a message from this one girl and she said you have to bring the baby home in a car seat and that's not gonna work for the car seat and so then I felt so stupid I just literally felt like the biggest idiot because I was you know supposedly a labor and delivery nurse and worked in the hospital and I should know these things and I felt so dumb so I put it in my story oh my gosh I wasn't thinking guess I'll have to use something else and then I got another message from this girl who said lena they have a tutorial on their instagram of how you can still use the knotted gown for a car seat and it just made me so upset because like i just get so many messages every single day from women who probably mean the best but they just don't understand how it truly affects me and it makes me feel like i'm just not doing my best as a mother and i'm just doing nothing right and I know so many new moms feel the same way, just getting opinions from everyone. I actually had turned my direct messages off for a little while because I just couldn't handle, I just could not handle it. They're back on now because I miss talking to you guys, but yeah, it was just really hard for me to handle. Even people who mean so well, I just couldn't handle like 
any criticism like even if it was just constructive it just felt like really overwhelming so i thought i would just share how i feel because i know so many new moms feel that way and i think it's probably like 10 times worse for influencers who are new moms because people who have had babies before they just literally word vomit into your dms about everything you're doing wrong the sun is about to set so we're actually going to go eat iftar at my parents house i may bring you over there for a little bit to show you guys what we're eating but this is pretty much the end of the vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in my next one